Well, hello and welcome to tutorial 114 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not familiar with our website, which is markplex.com, then you will find a lot of other tutorials and programs there, and uh, I'm sure you'll find it useful. Anyway, so today's tutorial is asked by uh, somebody, a visitor to my website, if it would be possible to do a tutorial which just demonstrated how to draw, uh, as you can see on the screen here, uh, zones on the chart using the new TradeStation rectangle tool. And uh, so what I've done is this is a very, very simple tutorial, but I think you'll find it useful if you want to learn about drawing objects, uh, drawing rectangles specifically, and also uh, using methods and so forth in easy language. So what I've done is I've created a program which you can see applied to three totally different charts and I have it, just go to this chart, have it applied and what I've also done is created another version which is effectively blank and we're going to go through and create that from scratch. And just, just to show you while we're here the inputs for the program You'll see that what I've done is I've created a high value and a low value uh, inputs, high value, low, uh, low inputs, color input, shading input, and transparency input. And what I've done that, what I've done is done the same thing for five different bands. So we can just see that we've got those repeated in the program for zone one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's uh, go to the development environment. And as you can see, this is the program that I've already developed and this will be available for download. It will also be available free to Gold Pass members. So uh, if you're a Gold Pass member, you can just go in and cut and paste this at no charge. So let's go to the development environment and Let's uh, start developing the program. So the first thing we need to do is create those inputs. So what I'm going to do is just uh, show you the first one, and then I'll probably just uh, zoom past the rest of it. And we're going to call them zone one, zone two, zone three, etc. So the uh, The high of the first zone is high. And the low is zone one low. Then we're gonna have the zone one color, which is actually gonna be a string, let's call that red, the zone one shading, which is an integer, and the zone one transparency, which is gonna be an alpha value between zero and 255. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just copy that for the, for the other zones. Okay, so having done that, I'm just gonna verify, which we can do by clicking the little green tick or press F3. And then we need to create our variables. Now we're going to be using BN points to uh, position the rectangle. So I need to create some variables. I'm just going to call those my start BN. And it's going to be null to start with. Um, and my end bn
And then we're going to need the rectangle itself. So we're going to say it's called a rectangle and we're going to call it zone box like so. Okay, now one thing I know because we're going to be using drawing objects and the drawing tools is it's going to be helpful to me if I put in some name spaces up here. So the ones that we're going to use in this tutorial are uh, EL system drawing. And it should be dot drawing and EL system drawing objects. Okay, so I'm going to verify and again. Let's just check. We haven't made any mistakes. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now, the way that we're going to create our rectangle is by using a method. So we can call that method from within the program every time we want to create another rectangle. So let's go ahead and create the method. So method, and this is not going to return anything. So we're going to say method void. We're going to have several inputs to this method. We need to give it a name. Insert any method void draw box. And we're going to have several inputs. And what we're going to do each time is we're going to tell the method what sort of input it is. So we're going to say BN point. And this is going to be uh, my start BN. And then again, BN point. So this time it's going to be my end BN. And those uh, BN points are going to encompass the the bar number and the, the level, uh, the high and the low of each rectangle. Then we're going to need to include the zone color. the zone shading and the zone transparency like so. I think that's everything. Then having done that we can actually begin the coding for the method so we do that okay so the rectangle is going to be called zone box we've created a an input there so we're going to say zone box is equal to rectangle then we can click the dot and click create and uh, if we wanted to know about that we could just go to rectangle create And you'll see here the syntax and of course you don't need to use BM point you could use XY point for instance but uh, here's all the information about creating a rectangle we're going to be using the BN point so what we need to do is just tell it the, the start and the end that's as simple as it gets just to create the rectangle. Now what we need to do is now change some of the properties for that rectangle and we want to do various things including the uh, the color and the shading. So we're going to say zone box dot color is equal to color and then we're not going to set a specific color we're going to use one of the um, methods associated with this so we're going to go from name and then we're going to use as an input the zone color like so we also need to sort out the fill color so we're going to go zone box and again press the 
the period and looking for fill color and this is sort of more or less the same but what we want to do now is introduce the transparency so we're going to do that we go color and we're going to use one of those from things and the one we're going to use is from ARGB and the alpha value is what we're calling the transparency zone transparency so that one is very straightforward it's number point between zero and 255 and then for the color we need to do this color from name thing again so we're just going to copy that and paste that into there okay just gonna check that verifies no let's have a look okay it's just because we're uh, we have we've done a begin but we haven't closed that out yet Okay, and then the final thing we want to do here, well, not quite the final thing, the, uh, the final important thing is zone box dot, and then we want to set the fill pattern, and we're going to set that to equal the zone shading. Like so. Also going to just do change the weight. So these things you can experiment with now one of the important things we need to do is we need to set this thing to persist otherwise it will appear for an instant and then disappear and uh, you'll think you've made some terrible mistake but actually it's just uh, not set persist so we're going to set that to true and now this uh, this next one which we're going to be using was available in uh, 9.5 release 14. It's not available in versions before that, but I'll show a way that you can get around that if, you, if you're if you using a earlier version, but uh, makes it easier to use extend right. Incidentally, I had some huge problems with 14, release 14, uh, not connected with this program, but just uh, in general uh, with Windows uh, version 10. So you might want to be aware of that if you're thinking of upgrading okay having done all that we're now ready to add the drawing object we do that by drawing objects add and then the name of the drawing object which is zonebox Then we can end our method like so and uh, we should just check the verification great that verifies so what we now need to do is call this method to draw the rectangles so what i'm going to do is just set that up for the first one and then uh, copy and paste so we're going to do this at the end of the chart so we're going to say if last bar on chart then and we only want to do this once So I'm just going to put in once and then we need another begin and uh, we're going to call the object. So we do that, just say draw box and then what we need to do is put into that the values that we want to use. Okay, so the first thing we want a BN point where we're going to start the rectangle. So we're going to go BN point. dot create and uh, the two parts to this we need to put the bar number I'm just going to put zero and uh, then we need the higher value of the specific rectangle which uh, in this particular case here is zone one high so I'm just going to go and put that like so so that's the first input now what we need to do is similarly for the zone low now I put bar number zero because we're using extend right I'll show you a way that you can get around that if you can't use that and then we need to feed into the method if we look at the inputs you can see that uh, we've got the start the end 
Now we need to do the zone color. The zone color for the first rectangle is zone one color. So I'm just going to copy that. And then similarly, we want to put in the zone one shading and transparency. So I'm just going to copy that information and paste it. So zone one shading and zone transparency. In fact, it uh, looks like I've just should that should be zone one transparency. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to verify that. Forgot to correct that there. Okay, now having done that for the first rectangle, I'm going to now do that for the zones two, three, four, and five, and uh, probably just skip over that in this video. Okay, so I've created those other calls to the, the method. And uh, one thing you may have noticed is I've just made uh, four and five slightly different. And these are in the case where you're not, when you cannot use extend right for the rectangle, I just set that at two times the bar number. And remember that we're calling this on the last bar on chart. So that should, um, that should suffice as far as making the rectangle extend to the right. So just to, uh, well, let's first of all, just uh, verify this and we'll go to the chart and we'll try and put in some values and make sure that, uh, it's uh, functioning as expected. So here is the, uh, the program and what we need to do is just turn off 14. We've already got this switched on. So we need to find some values that look reasonable. So I'm going to change the high 1.135. Okay, so let's just see if that is working. Okay, and that's looking, that's looking sort of how we would expect it. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just demonstrate, I'm just going to turn off the extend right by just commenting out that part of the program. And what we should see is that the first three zones are no longer ex extending to the right. We can't see them but uh, the final two are visible. I'm not sure where, I think our values are probably slightly, slightly wrong, but uh, the last two should be extending to the right. Let's just double check that. Well, would help if we uh, gave it a color we could see. So I'm just going to check green and uh, there you'll see that uh, that's extending to the right, but the other three are not. Anyway, I hope you might find this program useful. Again, it is available for download. Of course, you're welcome to watch this video and type the program out and experiment with it, but you can also download it for a small fee or you could uh, join Goldpass, uh, in which case you can uh, copy and paste it for free. Thank you.